What is the Matrix? Control. The Matrix is a computer-generated dream world, built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. We're joined by Representative Dan uh, Itza, who is one of the sponsors. In fact, his name is listed as first on the bill, so I guess he, he, he must have been the one that introduced it and wrote it. The state of New Hampshire... And uh, it is House Concurrent Resolution 6, and it's the strongest and the best we've seen, saying they have right to revolt under their Article 10 in New Hampshire, live free or die. They will pull out of the union if this basically continues and happens. That's the way I read the last uh, page. If gun confiscation happens, if martial law happens, if they try to have youth brigades, which has all been announced. So, Representative uh, Itza, thank you so much for coming on with us. Well, I'm very proud to... Um I, I, I want to make sure that um, I'm perfectly clear about uh, one thing. The objective of this resolution is not secession. The objective, the, the happiest resolution of this resolution would be a revitalized union within the confines of the Constitution. That said, if the general government should choose to aggress in a manner that nullifies the Constitution, it is impossible to secede from something that doesn't exist. And the, the preceding language, which does talk about uh, essentially nullification of the Constitution, is not my language. <clears throat> that was Thomas Jeff Those are Thomas Jefferson's words. Well, I understand. When the government becomes destructive of the aims of the Bill of Rights, Constitution, Declaration of Independence, it is null and void. It is not just a right. It is a duty to break it Absolutely. up and, and uh, reform it. So, please, sir. Uh, what what made you write this legislation? What made you put Thomas Jefferson's words in there? I thought they I I, I recognize them. What has and, and now this is really igniting a bushfire across the country uh, because we are seeing not just a federal takeover. Time Magazine, in an article titled "The New World Order" last week, said a foreign global bank will control the U.S. government and everything we do in the United States. So we're trying to head off a offshore banking takeover of the United States. Absolutely, or and and many other things. Um, what what inspired me? Well, I mean, this isn't something new on on my agenda. I submitted a resolution uh, calling for the repeal of the odious portions of the Patriot Act in I think two thousand three. Um, I submitted a resolution last year, which was last term, uh, call, declaring that anything like the North American Union would be unconstitutional. Uh, but then this summer, when I was uh, studying for my role as James Madison in the, <clears throat> in the National Heritage Center for Constitutional Studies skit that we do every year, I um, came across the uh, uh, Kentucky Resolution. And uh, they are just such a perfect, perfect statement of all the principles involved. I knew that I had to take them and uh, incorporate them into a resolution and then give that resolution some um, some objectives. Are you talking United. about the Kentucky resolution from 96 against the U.N. takeover of national parks? No, I'm talking about the Kentucky resolution of uh, 1798 Yes, okay. against the Alien and Sedition Act, which are, were the 18th century version of the Patriot Act. Yes, okay. Okay, so this, this, this goes right back to the foundations of our government, uh, Jefferson wrote it and submitted it to uh, Kentucky. He uh, had James Madison submit it to Virginia, which Madison wouldn't have done if he didn't endorse the principles uh, enumerated. So you've got the gentleman who drafted the Declaration of Independence and the gentleman who uh, drafted the Constitution for the United States of America and its first ten amendments. Uh, these are their principles. These are how they saw the relationship between the states and the general government. The general government is not the exclusive or final judge of the Constitution. The states are representing the people. Sir, and that's because a central government can be taken over by outside or corrupt forces within, and so the states are well, obviously... Well, if, if it's because the states were, are the parties to the, to the compact. And to allow the general government to be the exclusive or final judge of its 
delegated powers and undele- and those it might delegate to itself is to make its discretion and not the Constitution the measure of its power. Representative, uh, it's um, let's go through the illegal activities, the unconstitutional activities uh, of the federal government that 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 is exploding right now, and then what your piece of legislation, HCR six. Uh, is uh, stating and and you know the ultimatum that the state is laying out here. Okay, um, I don't have it open before me, so the, you can you probably do, and you can correct me if I misstate. But the first one deals with um, the uh, uh, making of martial law or a state of emergency in any any not just ours but any of the states because that certainly violates the guarantee of a Republican form of government. Uh, You would have to have the consent of that state's legislature to do so, as, you know, expressing the will of the people. Uh, The second one is uh, involuntary servitude other than a draft during a time of war. And, in fact, there are good constitutional arguments against a draft because it would deprive the states of their militia. Um, But involuntary... uh, uh, servitude other than as a consequence of due process of law and uh, an alternative to incarceration. Uh, any involuntary servitude of, a, of someone under the age of 18. Um, uh, any uh, uh, further infringements on freedom of the press, speech, religion, uh, or any infringement on religion. Uh, any uh, expansion of uh, prohibitions on the types of firearms or quantity or types of ammunition that might be owned, a.k.a. H.R. 45. Um, All of these things violate the fundamental maxims that are are enumerated in our Constitution, either both in the Bill of Rights and in the the main body itself. And they are treason, are they not? This is treason. Absolutely. And, and, you know, once you... You know, it's you, if you if you're in a divorce and and you know, you're in a marriage that is is rocky and, and cruising for divorce, you don't just show up one day, or it's not right to just show up one day and hand divorce papers. I mean, you you're obligated to uh, go to that other person and say, "Look, we've got problems. We need to go to counseling. Um, if you do this again, if you hit me again, uh, this is over." So this is that notice it is the line in the sand saying you no know, we've tolerated the intolerable for some time now but you know what we're not going to tolerate it anymore and if you do it again you will have crossed the line if you're dealing with a bully you don't draw the line behind the bully you draw the line between yourself and the bully so that's what this is this is the line in the sand representative stay there i want you to repeat that when we come back as we're going into break finish up with your comments and uh... I've had other state reps on. I want to see if you're aware. I'm sure you are. You sound very informed about PDD 51 and other things because they're definitely making their move. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? By the way, we started about a month ago really hammering this issue of the states and more of them declaring independence. Coast to Coast AM had me on a few days ago. Glenn Beck monitors that show and this show. He's going to have uh, Representative Itza on his show tonight. He's leaving in about 30 minutes to go be on that show. So vital what you get out of this show, sir, with all the Fox News folks that don't know what's happening. And I'm going to be on Coast to Coast three hours next Monday with a bunch of other state reps. So thanks to you, the listeners, spreading the word. This is now becoming a major national story. And, and and we don't have a hope. The federal government is taking over right now. FEMA camps, FEMA camp legislation, mass arrest, mass inoculation news, youth brigades. Representative Dan, uh, it's a please uh, continue with what you were saying uh, about, uh, and, and you filed this before Obama was even in office. I mean, that's key. Right. I, I filed, well, I, I filed it uh, last September. I, I crafted it last September. July and August. Um, so th- this, to me, this is not a new idea. This is this is vital for our times. It didn't matter to me whether it was 
Barack Obama or John McCain that would be elected, I saw the same hand, handwriting on the wall. Um, so now it is time for the states to assert themselves. There is no way that we are going to um, take back the, the general government in one giant gulp. If we have any hope at all is to take it back one bite at a time, 50 small bites. Um, and it's important that the people know that the selection of their representatives at the state level is far more important than their selection at the federal level because the, the, their state representatives and, and executives are far more dangerous to them. We can, we can reach far deeper into their pockets and their households. But we are also their only defense against the general government.